All right, one more video to do here this morning, an important one. I just found out that um, there's a plan to keep this corrupt housing market going, the scam that it is. Uh, people charging way too much for their houses and all the mortgage debt and everything else that goes along with it. And they want to keep this thing going by doing a stimulus program. Two trillion dollars by the fall, by autumn of this year, 2024. And uh, people, you know, they're going to need assistance and whatever else in order to, uh, you know, be able to make their payments. They want to keep the system going, in other words. And um, a lot of people were deceived by this stimulus thing that happened back uh, in 2020 and 2021. And uh, they thought that that was a good thing. And well, you know, there's a big disease going around and whatever, so we need to have the government give us free money. Um, there is no such thing as free money. And what you're doing when you accept stimulus is you are uh, violating the scriptures because the Bible says if any would not work, neither should he eat. So there's that. But more than that, um, you are causing the system, the, the dollar, to collapse even quicker, even more rapidly. Uh, it is not good for an economy to just print more money. Look at uh, Zimbabwe, look at the Weimar Republic. Um, all these different countries that experienced hyperinflation. Hyperinflation comes by printing more currency. Um, it's a terrible thing to do. And uh, those, I've said this in other studies and it's important, but it's important for me to say this again. And that is, um, if you don't understand what happened in 2020, uh, there's a lot of hysteria about this central bank digital currency thing. Well, 2020 is when they rolled it out. And if you took a stimulus check, you actually were enrolled for the FedNow program. Not good. Uh, so let me give you some real good advice here. Uh, don't ever take any stimulus again from the government. I didn't. I don't take stimulus money. I don't take free money from the government because I know it's not free. There's always strings attached to it. So if you're having a hard time uh, making mortgage payments, then figure out something else. Sell your place at an affordable price and go get an apartment for a while. If you have family members that you can move in with, then go do that. But don't you dare take another stimulus check because all, all that you're doing by that is you are further destroying this already weak economy. Um, and if we want to stop the central bank digital currency thing, which is, um, it's bad because it will be hooked, hooked up to a social credit score eventually, not right away because they want to ease people into it. The old uh, cooking the frog in the pot system where you put the frog in and you just gently turn up the heat a little bit until he's cooked and that way he doesn't jump out. A good analogy for the way that evil works and sin works just a little bit gradually over time that you don't notice it and it just gets worse and worse until you're destroyed yeah the wages of sin is death but um do not take a stimulus check because like i said they're going to be saying okay well um people can't pay their mortgages and and we have a real financial crisis here in america so uh we just in our good graces we want to give you this special money and um, you know, and that way we can help out the economy and, and people won't have to lose their homes and everything and this is a wonderful thing that we're doing. No it's not, no it isn't. It violates the scriptures. If you fell for the first stimulus thing, okay, shouldn't have done that, but don't do it again. Um, you know, a lot of people were deceived, a lot of people were tricked but um, you can't say that you were deceived or tricked again. Uh, don't ever take money from the government. Uh, it's wrong. It's not what the Bible teaches. Uh, the Bible teaches that um, we're to work hard for our money. So, 
And you know, it's kind of funny. Let me just say this again. I have to kick something again because I know there's going to be a bunch of idiots in the comments. Well, well then get a job, then we're... I have a job. My job is irritating you, <laughs> apparently. Um, if I'm so much about money, like my enemies like to lie about me and say that, Old Denlinger's all about money. Then why didn't I take the stimulus check? Huh. You know, last time I had jury duty, I had to go up to Caribou, Maine, up there to the courthouse, and um, waste three days of my time. And uh, that wasn't work. And they sent me the money for it, and I burned the checks. I didn't cash it. Because I didn't work. So, you know... All down there is all about money. Oh, no, I'm not. If you're saying that, then you are bearing false witness against me, and you'll answer to God for it. So, you know, that's one of the wonderful things about being in ministry. Uh, I don't have to convince people um, of everything. Let me show you this funny looking tree here. Look at that. Isn't that weird how it's bent over this way, right there. Kind of neat. But uh, as long as you're telling the truth, you win every time in ministry. You can't do wrong. Um, I'm not going to convert everybody. Uh, it would be unscriptural to think that. That I'm just going to... Everybody that watches my videos is going to get saved and straightened out and whatever. No. Um, what will happen is a lot of people are just going to get offended at me. And they're going to get mad and whatever else. Throw a fit. Um, but as long as I'm telling the truth, it'll work out good for me in the end. And not for you if you're a liar. If you bear false witness. So, I know they're atheists and whatever else. There's religious atheists and secular atheists. But, um, you need to be careful uh, when you lie about somebody. Um, so do not accept any stimulus money. Um, if you have mortgage debt that you can't pay off... Then downsize or sell your house and get an apartment um, or do something. Cut out other things and get that debt paid off. You're not supposed to be in debt according to the scriptures. The borrower is servant to the lender. And we're only supposed to be the servants of Jesus Christ. And um, so just wanted to put that out there. Uh, God will put up with stupid things that we've done. Uh, again, I'm living proof of that. I've done plenty of stupid things in my life. But uh, God starts to get a little bit perturbed when you keep doing them over and over again. And you don't quit. Uh, then you start to get yourself in some trouble. So, my recommendation, don't, take ever, don't ever take another stimulus check for any reason. Because it's only advancing the central bank digital currency system with its social credit score. That will eventually come whereby they can just shut you off oh you uh you're a bible believer are you oh sorry you're a threat to yourself and others danger to yourself and others we have to uh shut off your money if we refuse right now and just say no thank you um and again uh let me just say this Oh, they're going to print two tr or make uh, two trillion dollars in stimulus, and they're going to use home equity to do it, or you know th these other little schemes that they're coming up with. Okay, and that's going to help people. All right, what about the uh, next year? What about the next month? You know, when does it end? Oh, we're just going to keep on printing money, and and you know everybody eventually will just get to live for free, I guess, as the currency hyperinflates to the point where it doesn't even make any sense anymore. You know, Zimbabwe had $200 trillion bills to buy things. You know, you go into the grocery store today and, you know, the wife comes home, or I'll say it this way, wife comes home from the grocery store and the husband says, what'd you spend at the grocery store? Oh, you know, $500 trillion. Honey, I told you we couldn't go over $480 trillion. <laughs> It's ridiculous. But that's what happens when you scam people with printed currencies, fiat currencies. Um... And that's what's going on. The American dollar is dying. And it's going to cause a lot of pain for a lot of people. But uh, it's going to be a lot less painful if we just simply say, no, we're not for the printing of money. 
stop printing money and sending it to the war that you're losing in Ukraine. Stop printing money to try to make Israel a wealthier nation and whatever. Um, it's not right. It's not the responsible responsibility of the American people to uh, spend money on all these different projects. And so, something we all need to pray about very fervently. But that's going to be it. I'm going to get going here. Get down to the office. I have a couple videos now, three videos to upload. So please do keep us in your prayers. I do have some sermon notes written. I'm going to try to get to that. Uh, if not today, then maybe in the next couple of days. Good study coming out. But uh, thank you to everybody out there for your support of the ministry. And uh, we really do need your prayers, most of all. Um, pray about YouTube. Um, allowing this you know channel to exist we've been here for a long time but they have done their best to really keep this channel suppressed i've been shadow banned pretty much since the beginning and they've they delete videos and don't even let me know <laughs> a lot of times i had somebody ask about a video yesterday and hey where's this video at and i looked for it and i can't find it i looked through my uh email that where the youtube lets me know when they've deleted it a video and there was there was no anything saying about the you know deleting this video and i know i didn't delete it so they're just they go through and just delete stuff and if you're one of these youtube people that likes to do that uh you're very narrow-minded you're very bigoted uh, you really ought to just let me alone and let me grow and as a channel but Please do pray for us and pray against these YouTube people with what they do to this ministry. And it uh, still just blows my mind, you know. Oh, well, they hate Christians. They, they just, it's all Christians, brother. It's not just you. Okay, then how did uh, Robert Breaker grow to 700,000 subscribers? He's supposedly a King James Bible believer. How is it that uh, he has 700,000 subscribers if YouTube hates Christians? Hmm. And Gene Kim, same, same thing. He's not at 700,000. I don't know what he is now, but uh, still waiting on the proof that they even made it to 100,000 subscribers. They still haven't provided it yet. Um, show the silver play button. But that's another issue. Selective uh, enforcement at YouTube. Certain channels like this, like my channel, uh, they get uh, heavily persecuted. Videos taken down and whatever. Other channels, they are using bots, which I've proved, to grow their numbers, which is illegal. And yet, YouTube just says, we don't see anything. So, nice how that works. But uh, that will be it. See you in upcoming videos.